Welcome everyone to the house that Rodney built, Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the home of the Fighting Irish. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on the winners of three straight, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get Stanford about to tee it up to get this one going. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. So Notre Dame's return team didn't help matters out much with that one. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Slips through the line. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. So the Stanford Cardinal offense comes out, and they'll have it for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them. All kinds of running room. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Pressure coming. And the third down pass is incomplete. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And this one shouldn't be too taxing, a 23-yard try. And it's right down the boulevard. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. Here come the Irish back on offense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Back to throw, it's Leonard. He's got his man. 
Oh, there might have been trouble if they had knocked him down so quickly. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. Grabbed in the middle, it's Mitchell. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. New set of downs after that completion. They'll throw it on first down. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. On the ground, it's Price. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Off the RPO, quick throw to the right. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. The Irish send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this one. They're going to keep this drive going. You'll have to make a play on third and long from the 20. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. Makes a move. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. First play of the drive comes from the 38. Running back searching for a hole. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And now on second down for this offense. At the end of the quarter, it is Stanford holding the edge. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. We're ready to get back to it and open the second period. Quick pass on the fly motion. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Finds his big tight end. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. From the gun, give on the inside. And he could not get loose on the run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Well, that was less than choreographed. Everybody going on their own snap count there. Full start, start. offense. Open. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Let's see what they've got on second down. To the ground with the back. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Quick strike complete. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. 
This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. For jet sweep pass. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. He wants to throw it again. Quickly to the tight end. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Stanford going back to work with another first down. They're going to run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. The give out of the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. It'll be a run on third and short. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Working the middle. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed... A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Irish! I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Go with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And they move on top with the extra point, 7-6. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Wake Forest is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. They're trailing by 11 to Clemson. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Back to throw, it's Daniels. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Stanford lines up to punt it away. He gets a block. And the returner goes down. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. 
And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Right back up top on second and ten. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And the defense there goes zone coverage. Maybe confused the quarterback a little bit. Forced him to hold on to the football, and that allowed the pass rush to get home. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. On the move, it's Price. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Irish send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Going up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Feeling some heat. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Finds his big tight end. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. To the air, it's Daniels. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw, trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Today, all the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old news and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's got the tight end. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Hand off from the shotgun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Back to pass. It's Daniels. He looks that one in nicely. Still running at the 40. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. This Stanford offense moving quickly down the field. Give to the running back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's back to throw on second down. He's got it on the move. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He caught it. Touchdown, Cardinal. And that one will put him up here in the second half. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big-bodied frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. To the air, it's Daniels. He finds the end zone for the two, and now the lead is seven. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Notre Dame right back to the line. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle, it's Evans. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Here come the Irish again, this time doing it through the air. And getting a little balance, right? We talked about how they like to be physical and they like to run the football. But when you get that balance going, man, it makes it easy to call plays, start to settle in, everything looking good on offense. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He uncorks a bullet to the right. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. Nice play there. And I know when you think Notre Dame's football, you're thinking about running the football and all those NFL offensive linemen they have. But when you've got playmakers like him on the perimeter, you've got to be able to take advantage of him. This guy has the chance to play on Sundays. He's too good. If you've got a window to throw and that guy's out running a route, give him an opportunity. Notre Dame has it now, first and goal. Use the play fake, now to throw. He just wisely got rid of that one. The worst thing that can happen to you is to turn it over on first down in the red zone. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And as they get him to the ground, puck running looks as if time will expire here in the third. At the end of the quarter, it is Stanford holding the edge. And as we switch, we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. It is into the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. On to attempt the try. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. 
And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Wake Forest is getting blitzed right now at home in front of that loyal fan base. Loyal, but my goodness, that's being tested today. Off play action on first down. They're trailing by 28 to Clemson. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Back to throw, it's Daniels. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions with C's zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback and getting him on the ground. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. They'll run play action. Finds his man. It's idle matter. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. He's got an open man. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. This Stanford offense is humming set up with another first down. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore after picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Harris. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Stanford! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Young. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Here come the Irish, back on offense. He'll pull it on the read. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. It's a fumble. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. From the gun, running back on the move. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for room, it's Bob. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Now on third down after that run. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt, find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep, you make sure you execute, build this lead a little bit bigger, put this thing away in the fourth quarter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. 
just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The give to the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Looking for a productive play on first down. He finds his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied and the timeout is gone. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The aerial assault continues. Tight end finds a soft spot. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. He caught it! Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Out of the gun, looking to throw. And he'll race it to the house! Touchdown, Notre Dame! And great job executing the offense, did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I, I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter, you probably want to do that. But you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. Getting set for the point after. Here is on for the extra point. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. And he's going to bring it out. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Throws to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, the fumble on the defense got it. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. A defensive touchdown. You're happy you got the ball back, but the defense takes it a step further and just goes ahead and gets six. You just want to get the stop, right? And you get the stop, get the points. But guess what, Reese? I'm going to need another stop. This defense is going to be right back on the field. Unbelievable play, but you got to do it again. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. And he takes this from inside the five, and the returner will be dragged down. Stanford has it back, the Cardinal offense returning to the field. These are the games, these are the moments, this is the opportunity for the finish that people remember in rivalries like this one. And those highlights that are shown for years and years to come, these big time moments, Palmer, coming down to the wire, who steps up and makes the big time play? And this is why you lift the weights in the offseason. This is why you do all the gassers and all the sprints for moments like this, game on the line in one of the biggest games of the year. Wants to throw, it's Daniels. He wants a big play here late. Holds it in on the left. Touchdown, Cardinal! 
And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Number 13. Massive score, now massive decision making. Obviously, extra point ties the football game. Easy peasy, nice job. A two point conversion, you win this thing. So I would kick it, but you know what? If you want to go for it, that's your decision. And now a critical extra point attempt here. And he needs this one for the tie. And he's got it. We're locked up in the fourth. After that latest answer, tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They'll give it to the back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Trying to move them on the counter. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions. Paul. The third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth, who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, Irish! They strike first here in overtime. Anytime you've got a successful run play on the ground, you've got to have great blocking up front. The offensive line, receivers, everybody doing their job. And that helped lead to the home run. This extra point would give them a seven-point lead in OT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes the grab down the middle. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. Huge third down to keep the drive alive. They need a touchdown on this possession. He makes a grab. Touchdown, Stanford. They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, it's been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address and do something different. Don't assume on this extra point. They needed to send it to a second OT. And he makes the extra point. Here in the second overtime, they'll snap it on first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The give to the single back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And they don't want to waste this great field position here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw 
and catch. On the play. This thing has been back and forth now. First and goal as they try to take the lead in overtime number two. Here's the snap looking to throw. Touchdown, Cardinal! Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. They got the touchdown. Now in the second overtime, you have to go for two. Power ahead. They do not get the two, and now the lead sits at six in double OT. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. He's looking for a man on second down. Deep shot for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Third down in overtime. They have to keep the drive alive and try to get it in the house. Got it in the middle. It's locked. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. And they pick it off. You can't give it away in overtime. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. The drama built throughout this game, memorable plays, and then finally the gut-wrenching loss at the end in overtime. This coaching staff is going to look back at the overtime, and they're going to wish they had called some different plays. They had some things set up, but ultimately, with games like this, they come down to the wire. you got to be able to dial up plays to win. I don't think this coaching staff did a great job. And it's so frustrating to get to this point and make enough plays to be in the game to come up short in overtime. I'd almost rather get blown out or this game is decided in regulation. Just very frustrating to lose a game, especially like this in OT. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.